heads on men. <laughs> <laughs> Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer are here. This is incredible. Great to see you guys. I feel like every Olympics uh, we get together and hang out, and you guys are more and more triumphant. And look, here are the gold medals here. How, how do you like these gold medals compared to the Vancouver gold medals? They're beautiful. They're similar, actually, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. But they're just beautiful. There's a lot of... Nice to have a pair. There's a lot of weight to them. Yeah, they, you know, they feel... I guess substantial. Yeah, like, you don't want a gold medal to be neck. light. No. <laughs> no, it's like when they float up here and they don't even hold the ribbon down. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of a lot of hard work and so, screaming for nothing. So tell us about the last 24 hours for you guys. Are you are you coasting on fumes <laughs> at this point? We're still riding the high for sure. And I've had moments today where I thought, did it really happen? I mean, or did we make it to this point? And everything unfolded just the way we imagined. And as athletes, that's all you can ask for. It was just a dream come true to finish that program and, and finish off our Olympic career with that performance. Does it enter your head as you're about to hit the ice that, yeah, there's a lot of people watching? <laughs> I think more so because we were so trained and so ready, what was... Well, what was surprising to go through my head was, oh my gosh, what happens if we just don't have the program that we've been dreaming about, you know? And we wanted it really bad, but uh, we have a great mental coach, so we are able to kind of work, re everything and rely on each other. Once we said to each other, once we start with the music, we know what to do. We've yep. done this so many times. So you, you mentioned training uh, the way to think. So is there is there a system before you go out, things you do? Is there superstitions? Absolutely. Not so much superstitions, but habits. And I think in, in that situation when... The scale and the stages is, is so intense. Uh, you need to make sure that you control what you can control. And that's one of our strengths, I think. And uh, we're lucky to have each other. Because some days, you know, when you're a little bit nervous or a bit uptight, you can rely on the other person. And that's what we've done for years. I think that's what you guys do on set. We do. Yeah, we, we, do. <laughs> yeah. we, we definitely yeah. do that. Very similar partnership we have. <laughs> Absolutely. Is, oh, yeah. we're going to get to that later on in this segment. But... Um, are you too prepared to raise Ryan Reynolds' children? Because uh, <laughs> yeah. let's take a look at this tweet. This is fact. Tessa said yes immediately. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, Ryan Reynolds uh, said, um, Tessa Virtue and Scott Moyer, thank you for agreeing to raise my children <laughs> as your own. Is it, how surreal is it to get tweets like this? Gosh. Well, we're big fans. That's that's such an honor, and I. You know, until this moment, I didn't think I had a maternal instinct. But I'm, I'm there, Ryan. I am there for you. Yeah, I was just going to say, I don't think Ryan knows me that well. I, I'm not ready for that commitment. That, guy, that is a bit of a commitment. Like, um, I, love asking, I love asking this question. Of uh, people that have reached out to you since you won, um, of the emails, texts, or phone calls, or uh, tweets like that, which, which one struck you as, wow, I didn't know they were watching? Uh, I don't know. I haven't had spent. I haven't spent too much time with my phone, but um, you know we're we're big Toronto Maple Leafs fans, and um, Mike does such a great job, Mike Babcock, of reaching out. And I got in trouble for calling him Babsy. Like my family the other day was like, "Do you you don't really know him that well?" No, so that's his nickname. Yeah, yeah, can you want you to call him that? Okay, so Babsy yeah. reaches out all the time, and he does it with a bunch <laughs> of us uh, Olympians. And it's so cool because he's been a part of. Um, well, our Olympic story in Vancouver and in Sochi, so it's been cool to get those texts. That still surprises me when his name flashes up on yeah. uh, my phone. Yeah, we miss having him here, but it's nice to have that contact with him regardless. I guess the phone call from Chudo was pretty cool. Oh, that's <laughs> all right. Yes. The PM, I love the PM you, know, you think about him last. Oh, yeah, and then there was the PM. Yeah. Um, and very quickly, can we show the video of us watching your uh, free program here? Because I feel like maybe we got a little too intense. Um, uh, yeah, Dean, our camera operator here, is very, very intense on the couch, but I was maybe the most intense. Um, I, I don't know, like, like, are you used to this kind of fandom? <laughs> I love it. And what are you supposed to yell when you guys, because do we yell, skate? Yeah, we, I don't know. I don't don't know. drop her. <laughs> don't drop her. I think yeah. someone did mention that. Yeah, we may have left that out. Thank okay. you. We appreciate that investment. Yeah, yeah, no, we're very invested in you guys. And you mentioned, Scott, you guys have been together for 20 years. Dan and I have been together as a partnership for uh, almost 15 years. So why oh. don't we play a little game called Get to Know Your Partner? Because I feel like this is this is something where we can just refresh ourselves a little <laughs> bit about each other. Um, okay, so, so maybe, Dan, you want to start first with the first okay. question for Tessa and Scott? Both of you guys have to answer. What's... Your favorite fast food joint. Your partner's, your partner's favorite, favorite, oh. favorite fast your food partner's joint. Your partner's favorite oh, fast food gosh. joint. Oh, gosh. Um, I think Dairy Queen for you. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. I'm Anything not sure with I even ice cream. Or, that yeah. Event. We're not really... Oh, gosh, that's a... We're not really fast food people, but what what's would mine? Have been? Wow, we really don't... <laughs> these guys are tearing our partnership <laughs> apart. <laughs> <laughs> we were so together <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> Jeez, who are you? Torn apart <laughs> over DQ. Yeah. I think this didn't happen before yesterday. Yeah, it's no, free. I'm kidding. 20 okay, hours now, later. You guys have to go to your oh, question okay, for so, us. Uh, okay, do you want to go first? Or oh, is it yeah, me? 
Oh, yeah, I gotta read the paper. Um, what was the last album either of you downloaded? Okay. Do you guys, I feel like you guys have worked so through this I already. Would, Did you cheat? No, no. no I, here's I the to, thing. Uh, for Dan? Okay. He's really into indie music, so it's a band we've oh. never heard of, like okay. the the Mouse Box Heroes. Mouse Box Heroes. <laughs> Dan's right. It is Mouse, but Mouse Box Heroes, and they're good. I'm going to say for Dan, it was Dean Martin's Greatest Hits. No, it was uh, Coulter Wall. Oh, Coulter Wall. Yeah, Canadian. Yeah, pride yeah, of, uh, okay. Canada. Hey. All right. Uh, Tess and Scott, without looking, what color are your partner's eyes? Uh, green. Brown. Gorgeous green. Brown. See, you guys are always looking at each other deeply. <laughs> yes. Dan and I never do that. <laughs> right. Okay. Imagine I got that wrong. You guys oh, really that would, be... would have. It would have been a tough couple hours. Now you guys go to the next question. Oh, um, yeah. Okay. What's the first thing either of you do after Sports Center ends? Get the hell out of there. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Both of us get the hell out of there. So that's right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway. Here's a tough one. Which of you is smarter? Tessa. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, that, that's not common knowledge. Like, that, you can tell in the first, like, in the segment, you could tell the first 20 seconds. I think. Right, yeah. right. Tessa, you'd, just you'd agree. <laughs> you just going to sit there. there. Well, it's, that was, no, no. handled it well. No. Yeah. You guys handled that both well. No. Uh, Is that like a no-no, but seriously. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> seriously, I am, smart. yeah. That's just not easy. Um, we we got to wrap it up. we got to oh, cut geez. this one short. Okay. Yeah, this is crazy. Yeah, what are you guys fast. doing tonight? Now what do you do? What do you do now? I think we got to stop at the, the COH, the Canadian Olympic House, and... We haven't had a chance to see your families uh, that much, so we're kind of relaxed. We're going there after this show. Are you? Sorry. Yeah. Oh. You guys want to hang out? Let's do Kinda. it. We'll get some poutine. That'd be great. That sounds oh, fantastic. that'd be awesome. Well, congratulations again, guys. Uh, most decorated figure skaters in Olympic history. That must. Uh, so surreal. Yeah. It's Thanks so for crazy. having us. On. Thanks for being here, guys. Thank you.